MC George Lopez booed, removed from stage after Trump jokes flop at children's diabetes fundraiser. Comic George Lopez was removed from the stage at a gala for juvenile diabetes in Denver last week, over an anti-Donald Trump routine that were booed by the crowd. The event sold tables ranging in price from $5,000 to $100,000 to benefit the Barbara Davis Center for Diabetes. George was asked nicely to stop making Trump jokes by a man in front row who just donated $250,000, one of the attendees commented on YouTube. But George doesn't, continues. Get spooed. Page 6 was told the it all began when Trump backer and Liberty Media CEO Greg Maffei donated $250,000, but requested that Lopez cool it with the anti-Trump jokes at the carousel ball. Lopez responded to Maffei, Thank you for changing my opinion on old white men, but it doesn't change the way I feel about orange men. Trying to recover and sensing the audience turn, Lopez said, Listen, it's about the kids. I apologize for bringing politics to an event. This is America, it still is. So I apologize to your white privilege. Lopez also told a joke about Trump's proposed border wall with Mexico, saying, I guess you can get some Mexicans to do it cheaper and they wouldn't crush the tunnels underneath. When the audience did not respond well, he quipped, Are you El Chapo people? El Chapo is a reference to the nickname of Joaquin Guzman, a Mexican drug lord who was known for escaping from prison using underground tunnels. Lopez then announced a video segment, but he did not return to the stage, and a local newscaster took over the hosting duties. The booing at a charitable event should not have come as a surprise. Republicans are three times more likely to donate $5,000 or more than to charity than Democrats, according to Philanthropy Roundtable. Lopez's flop comes after a similar disaster in the National Football League, which is facing declining TV viewership ratings after weeks of on-field national anthem protests by players. Trump triggered the upsurge in NFL protests by saying that players who disrespect the anthem should be fired. He has continued his criticism, while the NFL is scrambling to find a solution that will keep the players happy and won't alienate its fans. When are these guys going to learn that not everyone wants to hear their political diatribes? Especially at an even raising money for children. George Lopez aka Moron was so far out of line that he should have been escorted out after his first comment. We respect the First Amendment in this country. But why are these guys too lazy to really go out and protest, on their own time? What is wrong with going out to the street, and standing for hours holding signs and expressing their opinions like the average American? These celebrities are nothing more than lazy elites. They take a quick jab, and then run to their cushy homes and relax. There are not many of them who have the Clint Jones to get out and really do what it takes to exercise their First Amendment rights. Rights.